Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel 4. I am beginning right before we get into the cutscenes, simply because we left off at a point that obviously I saved, and as soon as I load up, we're going right into a cutscene. So, in the last episode, we got Rain back, and it's been two days since that. And if you guys want to see what went down, check out the last few mm. videos I have. Anyway, let's get right into it. Where hey, Reed. am I? You fainted? All oh, right, you've never been here. Oh, right. This must be Emma's hometown. Is that little Altina? <laughs> Is it? Aww. She's Altina. worried. Guess I've kept her pretty worried all this time. She must have fallen asleep watching over me. Aww. Instructor Reen? Muse? Oh no, everyone. Was that Muse that called oh. that? I think so. Morning, everyone. Sorry, looks like I overslept a bit. And we have so much to talk about, too. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was almost afraid you'd never wake up. Why would I never wake up? Come on, guys, have a little bit more faith in me. You guys, she's not the only one. We've all been ill at ease, even after we managed to escape. The moment we made it to Aaron, you were out for nearly an entire day. Jeez. We've all been taking turns waiting ever faithfully by your bedside, old and new class seven alike. Aww. And I, for one, relish the opportunity to gaze longingly at your sweet sleeping face, like a vision into my future. Why? You do not skip a beat, Muse. Why? Really, Muse? I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> Floozy's gonna flooz. <laughs> anyway, stop coddling him already. The guy's a grown-ass man. So you say, but you were just as eager as the rest of us to stand watch. Oh? Oh, yeah. I thought for sure you'd just ditch, going on and on about how much you don't care. Sundari Ash? If someone's out there and I have a subscriber that knows how to draw... Or, can, or just wants to draw. How about you draw a little soon did a ash? That would be hilarious. Oh, it was just so sweet. He sat right by your side, the very picture of concern. <laughs> <laughs> like hell I did. Quit making shit up, you damn snitches. Oh, he said snitches, though. It's good to have you back with us, Ash. I wasn't sure if you were okay, let alone if I'd ever see you again. Class 7 just wouldn't be the same without you. Aww. <laughs> well, what can I say? Shit happens. Mm -hmm. Besides, I wasn't the one chained up in a workshop. Compared to you, I've had it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah. And Muse, I know this puts you in a difficult spot, but either way, Thank you for coming back. You still have your own moves to play. I understand that. But for now, I'm glad you've decided to be here with us. Aww. As am I. Though frankly, even I'm not quite sure how it happened. I suppose I have no choice but to stay right at your side until I find out. Oh boy. Glad to hear it. Ugh, there she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without her. Yeah, Muse is Muse. for you too. Yuna, Kurt. It seems you spared no effort coming to my aid. I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> oh. Instructor. Well, I mean, we kind of owed you, you know? You've come to our rescue plenty of times. It's only right we return the favor. Thank you. If there's one thing you've taught us, it's to think and act for ourselves. Having the opportunity to put those lessons into practice was an experience unlike any other. But even then, we owe the bulk of our success to the old Class 7, and everyone else who had our backs. Still, thank you all the same. I appreciate it. <sighs> Good morning, Altina. Really? <laughs> Rise and shine, Sleepy Bunny. Why is everyone here? Because I'm awake. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Altina. I can only imagine all the struggles and doubts you must have gone through. But you never stopped moving forward with everyone else. I'm proud of you. 
It's good to be back. Aww. I, I... And her hair went back to normal again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Seems we're all forgetting the most important part. Which Maybe is? It's a little unfair of us to steal the first chance, but nevertheless, shall we? A group hug? Or. Welcome back, Instructor Reen. Hey, you're not gonna say it, Ash? Come on. <laughs> I got my thumbnail for that episode. Uh, for this episode, I mean. Oh, this is so cute, man. Oh, that's adorable. Merkaba. Oh, and Milliam is there too. So what's the plan now though? Oh, Vita's back. All right. Okay, so what's the plan now, guys? What are you gonna do? We have to stop a great calamity from happening. We have to stop the war. Oh? Oh, look at Reen! Oh. Well, that sure suits you. Okay, Reen. Mr. Steal Your Girl over here. Reen went from like. Hi, I'm your daughter's teacher too. Your daughter also calls me daddy. The others from the village helped prepare it for you. <laughs> I can't do a voice. I'm laughing at my own stupidity. <laughs> ah, the, uh, <laughs> why am I so stupid? <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> the others from my village helped prepare for you. That old coat of your old coat of yours was practically shredded to pieces. This new one even has enchantments woven into it that will help you keep your mana under control. Grandmother, Vida, and Celine all helped out. It won't sort everything out on its own, but you might as well keep it on. I'm not sure if the design will suit your taste, but don't look a gift horse in its mouth in the mouth. Seriously. It's great. I really appreciate all the work you must have put into it. I doubt I can ever thank you all of you enough. You are the most welcome. That's going to take some getting used to, but I think it'll work. Heh, <laughs> yeah, it goes better with the new hair color. That's cool, I like it. The white one was cute, but this has a charm all of its own. I guess I could say I like little bad boys in my life. I like the black better too. It's a little too much for my taste. You can pull it off though, Rain. Of course I can. You're my wife after all. Yes, it isn't much on the clothes, but how you wear them. This ain't a fashion show, but you don't look half bad. <laughs> All jokes aside, it really does suit you. Looks like pretty durable too. It should serve you well. It's perfect for setting on a new journey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I like it too. Thanks again, everybody. I had to put a downer on thing, but there's something we need to be clear about. There's no cure for the curse that's affecting me. I'll stay the sacrifice until the great twilight ends. I guess it's my destiny. All this was decided for me ever since I was little. Oh. Mm -hmm. Instructor. Damn it. But that doesn't mean you're going to give up, does it? No, of course not. I'm the one who started all this, so I have to see it through. I'll keep moving forward and do what I believe is right up until the bitter end. This curse might be coming an awakener, the rivalries. It may feel overwhelming sometimes, but I want to see how it all pays out. Plays out. Well said. 
I guess we need to look into what Crow told us about. What? Oh, Crow's not here with us? Or do we? Damn. That sucks. We're flashing back to that moment. We're officially off the radar. I think we're safe. Huh. That was crazy. I was about to have a heart attack. Well done, both of you. Now, let's find somewhere to land. Actually, I think this is where we part ways. Crow? Huh? You're not coming with us? Nah, just doesn't feel right, you know? Besides, with the rivalry starting, there's no time to be making friends. You mean... You're talking about the fate that awaits all Awakeners. Oh, Duval is going too. I was never trying to make friends... I was never trying to make friends in the first place. Come on, it's high time we left. And that really is a shame. Aw, you're both so cruel. I wouldn't have minded welcoming you into our ranks for a while. Duvuli in particular would be well worth training myself. She does seem like the type to respond to a little tough love. How about letting us pick up where Arianrod and Leon left off? You two are far too unpredictable for that. And Vita, you're not even a swordsman. What's your concern? Let me ask you something. Crow, how much do you know about the rivalries? Probably about as much as you. You feel it too, right? The knowledge that our destiny's coming in hot. And where it's going all where it's gonna go all down. I cannot read that, but okay. Hmm. You mean... So it's true after all. <laughs> well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Don't forget, I was the one that led you to become an Awakener. I'd be more than willing to stand by you until you're ready to go. Uh... Hmm. It's a tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. If I went along with you, I'd be giving up my life in a very different way. Well, that is a shame, but it was nice seeing you again, Crow. Alright, back at you. Do you think you could, you guys could not flirt right on top of me like this? Well, if you want to know about the rivalry, you should head over to the Spirit Shrine. The place where I had a near miss with you. When I was Siege. I'm thinking of checking it out myself. And off he goes. Aww. I want a Duvali to stay. Now everybody's sitting. Okay. You mean the mysterious shrines? Those are very mysterious and... We tackled them in Cold Seal too. Yes, the gnomes probably used them for finding their Zemurian ore. During the Civil War, several of them were spotted in the eastern regions of the Empire. There was even one near Legram. Our clan assisted them up until 900 years ago, right? So I've heard. It was before my time, so I don't know as much as I would like. One of the duties of the Wandering Witches has been to monitor the shrines for any irregularities. They serve as much more simple refineries for Zemurian ore. I see. There, there have been reports of strange lights and other phenomena in the surrounding areas too. Are there any closer to finding the place Crow was talking about? It's supposed to be connected to where you fought him as Azur or Siegfried, right? That should narrow things down. It, mu it must be where we went on field exercise in Le Maire. Right, I can't think of anywhere else that would fit the bill. That was back when you were searching for Milium, yes? Oh, yeah, on Baronia Island, off the coast of Ordis. The Soul Shrine? 
They could hold the answers we're looking for. Crow's probably investigating it as we speak. I want to get out of here and find out what he knows as soon as possible. As for you guys... Hey, you're not about to tell us to stay behind, are you? Rain, what did we tell you? Stop shouldering everything. Rain, you wouldn't be that stubborn, would you? You've always tended towards self-sacrifice, but there are limits to how much you can do on your own. We won't allow you to go through all this alone. You'll just end up making the same mistakes again if we're not there to keep you in line. Hey, I'm well aware how I've behaved in this kind of situation before, but this curse isn't something we can afford to ignore. We've got no way of knowing when I, when it might make me go berserk. I'm just trying to keep you all safe in case that happens again. Ugh, how annoying. You think we can't keep you in line? Give us some credit. Your students brought you back to your senses at the workshop. There's no reason that wouldn't work a second time. Well, we didn't exactly do that alone. I'm confident we'll be able to handle it, though. Yeah, we've already done it once, so it'll be easier to knock some sense into you next time. Tough love can be fun, too, once in a while. <laughs> ah, you've... You have to have known this is how everyone will respond. Green, we're class 7. Don't you dare underestimate us. You've been through countless battles up till now. You know what we're capable of. Even if you and the Sword of the End fell into the deepest darkness, we found a way to bring you back. In that place, it was so much like the darkness Milliam and I were born to. After facing that, I do not fear anything. <laughs> I'll get the Merc about ready to depart. I'm still getting used to how it handles, but it's better to have some backup, right? Plus, we've set it up so we can take the Panzer Soldats too, not just Valimar. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that will be a big help. Thank you, everyone. With you, I know I can... No. We're all going to push our way forward. Together. You got it. Right. We got this. And with that, Class 7 is all back together. New and old. Well. Well, we're in Act 2 now. Alright, students. <clears throat> now that everything's decided, we'd better make sure we're prepared before setting out. Sorry to drag you all into this. <laughs> it's a little late for apologies. It's only natural for us to help out since we owe you so much already. We know this place fairly well by now, so feel free to ask if you need any assistance. And there's always the fairy spring if you want to take some time out to unwind. There she goes again. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll take a look around. So many people helped me get me here. Not just Altine and the others. Maybe I should go thank them in person. New clothes, Emma's hat and glasses. Okay. Anyway, I am going to show you what I find after we got all those character notes. If I find anything, I'll let you guys know. All the witches are here. No, oh, it's you guys. Yeah, I took them out of their bathing suits. No. Oh, by the way, next, this is what I, little quick question for you. Do you want me to equip the classes and the hat or just leave her as she is? Your pick. That's your waifu. You pick how you want her dressed. And if you want her in the swimsuit, I'll leave her in the swimsuit as well. We finish our preparation. We can depart any time. <laughs> That's a new Raymond of yours. Well, it becomes you, Reen. <laughs> Thanks, Vita. But seriously. Thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> You're welcome. And I always wanted to get a look at the workshop in person anyway. And I'm glad Thomas and General, the General agreed to help us. Don't go thinking you're off the hook yet. 
If you knew what you were doing, you could have contacted us. Wait, didn't you get in touch right before everything went down? Not with that. Let's just say it was a little assurance. Insurance. And it came through at the best possible moment. What are you going to do with... What are we going to do with you? <sighs> You're just as flaky as ever. You haven't changed all that much in all the time I've known you. Oh, was this their room? Huh? How about that? It's hard to imagine Vita living here with all of you. Grianus is I, and I lived here as well. Huh. <laughs> that takes me back. What has it been? Ten years now? This room hasn't changed at all. You could have gotten rid of my bed, you know. <laughs> no way. We always knew you might come back someday. We didn't want you to drop in on us and have nowhere to sleep. Well, you must have been pretty desperate to see me again. Maybe if you called more often, we wouldn't have to worry about you so much. You tell her, Emma. And Grandmother, you could stand to be honest about how you feel, too. Um. <laughs> well, Emma's really something once she gets going. No wonder she was a class president in your day. Yeah, it's like she was born for that role. Yep, yes indeed. <gasps> oh. A. At this rate, your departure is going to be delayed a little more. Please feel free to take your time and relax. Maybe visit the hot springs. Oh, and another thing. Some of the children have been playing this VM game recently. I chat out for myself and it's not a bad way to pass some time. If you have a moment to spare, perhaps you'd like to play a match or two with me. Just for practice, perhaps. <laughs> she seems really into it. If she's that passionate about it, I guess I could play a few games with her. You can have Vantage Masters. VM, yeah. VM against Roselia. Alright, I'll see you guys when I beat her. Very well, let's see if you can defeat me. And there we go. One more match. Nope. You're done. It's over. What do you guys have to say again? I kind of wish I had more time being here. I feel so nostalgic. Anyway, I'll leave Crow to you guys. He should be able to tell you more about the rivalries and the curse of the Empire. He spent so much time with the gnomes, he probably knows even more than I do. Fida. In other words, you're not going to tell us anything. You were such a sweet child once. Where did we go wrong? <laughs> All right, have it your way. We'll get to the truth eventually. As for Crow, I promise we'll take care of him. Thank you, Rain. I knew I could count on you. You're welcome. Selene again. All right, Selene, what do you have to say? <laughs> Seeing the two of you together is so touching. If only Grianos could be here too. That would be nice. Wasn't he sliced apart right down to his soul? I'll admit that was unfortunate. But I'm gathering up the shattered pieces of his power so he should be able to return one day. If I can't do that much, I'm not worthy of being called the Azure Abyss. Hmm, of your abilities, it might just be possible. I'm infuriating. It took me at least a century to master creating a familiar. I'm sure Vida only picked it up as this fast because she had your knowledge and experience to draw on, Grandmother. I would get around to talking about something so weird. <laughs> they are witches after all. I guess this is normal for them. Hey, Celine, aren't you going to change into your human form? I was looking forward to seeing that. Oh, hey, you're right. I'm so used to you being a cat, I didn't even notice you change back. What a waste, you look so cute. I already told you, it's not a form I like shapeshifting into. <laughs> Seems like she's not too keen on the idea. She has her reasons, no doubt. And we don't know that. Alright, let's keep exploring.
Oh, all right. Uh, grab some of these droplets before you leave to explore more. There's a cutscene? There is! Okay! <laughs> Gotta say, I never thought they'd have a hot springs here of all places. Not sure how I feel about indulging like this right before we leave though. Well, you certainly seem to be enjoying it from where we're, stand we're sitting. You couldn't be soaking it any harder if you were a sponge. Ugh. I'm still not over this whole mix, ba mix bathing thing. The coverage of these towels is near identical to that of a swimsuit. Besides, Instructor Reen is a Hot Springs Paradise local. I imagine one may find him a bit more immune than most. But if, say, an unfortunate accident were to occur, with maybe a bit of skin to skin for good measure, it would be a different story, I concur. Muse? Cut it out! And you, Allie, stop playing along. My mind, I thought I was a hot spring fanatic. Oh, sorry, Principal Le Guin. Looks like we beat you to the punch. Are you two here for a soak? <clears throat> yep, we wanted to go in one last time. We've been to some fun places, yes, but certainly none so nice at these springs. I must have been here a good half dozen times since yesterday myself. I could at least have hit double figures had you woken a little later. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. They're just chatting it up over there. Well, good to see they don't mind burying themselves. <laughs> Unlike you chicks, the Rakshas has actually got something to bear. The principal's presence certainly is overwhelming. Oh darn, I suppose I'll just have to wait until next time to stand a chance. Oh, one track mine as usual, I see. Well, if it makes you feel any better, yours have gotten pretty big too, Yuna. <sighs> I'm certainly no match for you or Lady Mildeen over there, by any standard. K Kia? Shush! Not in front of the guys! Oh, it's different for everyone. Ren, you still have some time to get there. I concur. I estimate the both of you will have a two-year grace period before we can properly judge. Um, I wonder if anyone will notice if I just made my way out now. <laughs> You're so innocent, it's making me cringe. <laughs> That's cute. After getting out, everyone enjoyed some coffee, milk, and fruit. Milk, courtesy of the owner of the inn. They then hung out a little bit longer before parting ways. And that's what I was after. The AP and CP. And Thor's uni unity rating increased. By the Imperial Chronicle, once you're here. We have Reen's glasses. Might as well buy them. Oh, we have a lot of stuff and I don't have enough money all right what do you guys have here for me <clears throat> whoa is this ignorant cults they've got the kin of Ver Begarna too all these books have been banned by the church pretty audacious to have them just sitting on the shelves like this you say that but you don't seem to be outrageous seeing them here the owner's got a true scholar's zest for forbidden text. That being said, I don't believe these have any information on them that's truly dangerous, though. <laughs> you don't get a chance like this every day. Maybe I'll pick one up. Uh, pick one up one or... Ah, uh, that's expensive. I'm starting to wish I got in Kevin to bring back everything from the recluse, the recluse cube. I guess I'll just have to save up every spare mirror I can until I can afford them. 
And this guy works for the church? Up to now, he's only shown us his good proper side, but... <sighs> Instructor, why? Thomas Lysander. Ah, hello everyone. You seem like you're ready to head off. Rosine. <clears throat> Why, hello there. I'm so glad to see you've recovered, Reen. Thank you. Thanks, Rosine. It helped a lot that you came to assist us back there. And Instructor Thomas, thank you for helping us by using the partition. Not at all. It was only possible because you were all, you all were the ones inside it. In that respect, I do think it's really thanks to Gaius and the new class 7. So I'd say that the triumph was the largest factor, including the presence of the Panzer Soldats. Really, we didn't do all that much. Our efforts had minimal impact compared to everyone else. <laughs> Never underestimate what the power of love can do. <laughs> <laughs> Save me. Anyway, that ship, the Merkaba, it's a ship that belongs to the Grawls Raider, isn't it? That's right. It's given to Dominions like Gaius and myself to help us in the course of our Grawls Raider duties. In addition to the engine specs being a little bit over the top, it has the state of the art facilities and weapons included. I only inherited for Barkhorn, so I'm still getting used to it. That's part of the reason I wanted Rosine to come. The backup she provided was essential. I'm just glad I could help. That's great. It's comforting knowing that we have you on our side. Instructor Thomas, will you be heading back to your Merkaba? Yes, I'll be covering the eastern portion of the Empire as well as working together with the Grawls Raider headquarters. Out of the 12 Merkabas we have, four of them were supposed to join us. <clears throat> But the 4th and 9 Dominions, along with their Merkabas, will call the way to respond to other threats. Ah. I guess there are problems all over the continent, not just here in Euronia. Seems to be the case. I'll try to get a hold of any useful information while I... I can while I'm at it. Right now, I'm just glad you're back with us, Reen. It's a load off my mind. You never really stop worrying about your old students. Thank you, Instructor Thomas. <laughs> it really is great to have you back with us. Alright, you trio, what is up with you guys? Did all three of you go in for a soak? We are just in ourselves a while ago. Yep, couldn't pass up the opportunity. No kidding, I feel like a new man thanks to that bath. I should hope so. You take two hot springs like a slobbering gold foggy aching all over. And what's wrong with that? Some of us has day jobs running us ragged, you know? Oh, you guys. To be fair, it's hard not to let yourselves go once you settle in. Huh, <laughs> you're telling me? Well, anyway, not to get all prim and proper on you guys, but I wanted to extend my thanks. Oh, come on now, Reen. You know we couldn't do a thing without you. Just relax yourself. Enjoy some luxury for once. My, it really is sweet how well you all get along. There truly is something precious about it. All right, we got a we got a conversation with Cerberus there though. Oh hey, if it isn't my favorite customers, Team Thor's. What are you guys up to? <clears throat> Making the goodbye tour before you depart. <laughs> More of a thank you tour, really. I've got a lot of people I need to show my gratitude to. Not least uh, of all you, Josette. You're a lifesaver in every sense of the word. You put yourself through so much danger, and just for my sake, too. Ah, don't mention it. Given what you've been going through, it was the least I could do. No kidding about that danger, though. With What, with the military tightening its grip? So, we decided helping you was the only right thing to do. It's not like you forced us. Well, I appreciate it either way. You and your brothers have been taking care of the Bobcat all over the place. Have been taking the Bobcat. Well, this problem isn't Erebonia's alone, right? 
You've been flying back and forth from Liberal and Calvert for the most part. You are, huh? Well, if you find yourselves running low on arms, you know who to call. Anti-air missiles, bunker busters, you name it, we got it. Ha ha, pass. The machine guns and cannons do just fine. Things are different now. Jingo, we're not sky bandits anymore, you know? I do remember us hearing a thing or two about that. So your armaments came from Nain Volley then? Yeah, things are looking to get a bit rough and tumble in the near future. They're second hot, obviously, given our budget. I threw in some free ammo. Think of it as a one time limited offer. That baby's full auto, so you can really eat through it if you're not careful. I'll keep that in mind. We'll put an order if we start to run low. You're quite, you're quite the connection you have, Jingo. She's done, she's done much for us as well. By the way, Jingo, what are your plans from here? I heard you were planning on leaving Aaron. I'm guessing you're heading back to Crossbell? Nah, I plan on to keep running my own gig. I got a packed schedule, big jobs to take care of and all. Gonna hitch me a ride with the Capwas for that. Part way at least. Big jobs, huh? Gotta say, I'm kinda curious. <laughs> no ignorance may be bliss in this case. It's only natural someone in Jingo's trade would keep busy, given the way the world's turning. Well, either way, you've been a great help to us. I'm sure we'll see more of you again, wherever that may be. Sure thing. Make sure to have the good stuff ready for you. Good luck out there, guys. Same to you, Jingo. I'll stick around a bit longer to exchange some more intel. We can all meet up later, okay? But of course, see you in a bit. We have quite the bit of people here to talk to. All right, let's start with this uh, table. <laughs> nice to see you, Randy, Agate. It's about time you showed up. Oh, I'm really digging this new look on you. You've upped your game since I since I last. Since I saw you last, I cannot read. It's probably just the clothes. They were custom made, apparently. So oh, right. I guess we're going to be working together again, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should officially introduce myself then. I'm Ren Bright. I believe you and my father are practitioners of the same school. Huh? Really? As in Lieutenant General Cassius Bright? I never met him myself, but my master used to talk about him a lot. I'm Reen Schwarzer. Pleasure to meet you, Ren. And thanks for the help before. <laughs> You're welcome. He doesn't seem face at all. He's a lot calmer than I expected him to be. Something about him reminds me of Lo, though. I should probably keep my eye on him. And I see you're here too. This is the first time we've seen each other since Crossbell, huh? Oh yeah, the goodbye. Something looks a little different about you. Did you change your hairstyle? I sure did. It's been three months since we've seen each other now. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kia Bannings. Nice to meet you all. Good to have you as Kia. I'm really grateful for all the help you've given us so far. It's no problem. You're the key to all of the po all of our possible futures, Reen. So if there's anything I can do for you, go ahead and ask. Am I really that important? Trust her. Kido's got a sixth sense for this stuff. It must be some kind of holdover from when she was the septarian. Yeah, cause that's just something you hear about every day. At this point, I don't think we have any choice but to believe it. To be clear, does that mean Instructor Reen's return has cleared a path to saving the future? Sorry, I can't see that far ahead. I just know we can have a chance now. It all comes down to what you guys decide to do next. That's all that will open the way forward. L. There's only one place we can go to where Crow Armbrus is waiting. He pilots the Divine Knight, yeah? 
That's not all. He was a member of Class 7 in his day, too. Guess things are starting to heat up, huh? Yeah. This is where our story really starts. Randy, Agate, thank you so much for everything. Don't mention it. Oh, come on. No need to be so formal. We're way past that now. <laughs> Alright, whatever you say. I get to talk to them again? So, will you two be going back to the Bobcat too? Yep, I'm off to search East Cerebonia next, but Keto here is gonna have to drop her off back in Crossbill once she's wrapped things up. Well, that's only if I can find some clue where Tio might be. I wish there was something I could do to help. Don't stack so much onto your plate, Uni. You got your own part in this you gotta take care of. Let me handle Tio Tot. You just focus on fighting Toe and the other students. See you later, Yuna. I'll let you know the second we learn anything new. Down to the second, huh? We'll stay on the lookout for Tio too, whenever we can. Say hello to me when you get home, Kia. <laughs> you got it. Maybe you two'll get the chance to meet up again sometime. <laughs> That'd be nice. It's weird trying to imagine Lloyd and Instructor Reen getting along. True, but I suppose they have no reason to fight now that all of their motivating factors are resolved. That's true. Oh, this time this side, okay. Are you planning to go to the Bobcat too? Yeah. I'm going Yeah, I'm going to search the West Cerebonia next. Still haven't had a Word from Tito Scharzer. Scherzard. I'll be heading east to meet up with Estelle and the others. I'll see what I can find out from there. Let's all keep each other posted if we learn anything new. Sounds good to me. I wonder where Tita is now. Hopefully she's with everyone else from the branch campus. Agreed. We still have to find a new, a few of them. Not to mention Instructor Toa. At the very least, I find it highly unlikely that the government would risk harming Tita. Even if she has been captured, they treat her well for the circumstances. You really know how to take in the whole picture, don't you, Duchess? <laughs> it's nice to meet a different kind of genius for once. I'll keep an eye out for Tita too. Then maybe when this all blows over, we can have tea together. I have some delicious eastern blends. I've been saving, plus we could even play some games together. That sounds lovely. I get the feeling you'd make a fun opponent. Yeesh. I don't want to get caught in the middle of these two going at it. Yeah, I'm glad they're on our side. Indeed. Alright guys. How's it going? I have to thank you, Principal Aurelia. I mean, General Le Guin. I understand how much of a risk it must be. Have been for you to help us. Oh, it was nothing. Now that you're feeling more up to it, how about you join me for a drink? They're absolutely exquisite. Not that I expect any less from one of the Purple Lightning's recommendations. Oh, uh. This one's flavored with springs of lavender, ain't it something? I've, it's such a refined taste to it, and it's so refreshing, you just don't want to put it down. Of course, that means you might get a little tipsy. I'll pass. It's so early in the day and I've got my students to think of. Laura, Fee, what are you guys drinking? Same thing as Sarah. Except mine's booze free. I'm also sticking with the non-alcoholic version. I may be old enough to drink now, but I see no reason in to get inebriated during the day. I've tried that non-alcoholic before. Can't say I understand why it's such a hidden comparison. While well, we've built up quite a tolerance ourselves, it takes much more to cut loose sometimes. So it's Lavender Ale then? I kinda wanna try one myself, but I don't know if I'd really like how it tastes. Drinks of that nature are commonly quite bitter. I don't see the point in them. Bitterness has its own charm, you know, like with green tea. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. I guess the kitties just don't understand classier tastes. Who asked you? 
You're in no position to lecture us on sophistication, Ash. <laughs> Just like the old times. It does sound like a pretty interesting drink, though. Maybe I'll come back and try it out sometime. Alright, now that we've taken care of everything, I'm gonna end this episode here. I went to every single red exclamation point and got everything that I had wanted to get. This episode has been going long enough, so I'm gonna leave things here and we're gonna continue onward and see where, in what ship we're going to go to our destination. Anyway. Okay. If you guys are enjoying these videos like I am, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And if you guys want to play some games with me, my Discord server is also below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.